out you know, this area, they oh. got handfuls and handfuls oh. of pills, and they could oh. see on them one a day, really? such and such. You know, because they they are they're not breaking they're down in your body. Oh, they're wow. not breaking down in your body. So if you're not getting something that's actually getting into your body, you're just you may as well just throw it right in the toilet while you're you know sitting there. So, so is has, that, does that have to do with? I'm sorry. Does that have to do with the 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 vitamin itself, or is it is that an indication that something may be wrong with? It's the vitamin itself because usually uh-huh. the vitamin is so encased mm-hmm. and it's encased so that it can last on the shelf longer. Mm-hmm. Right. So oh, if it wow. doesn't spoil, it sits there and then guess what? It goes into your body and it sits, it doesn't break down. Wow. Right. So it doesn't break down in your body. So li- liquid to me is preferable, you know, but even in the liquid form, it has to be, um, we call the isoform. We're looking at that. Say, say for example, if I'm going to tell you to take copper because Mm -hmm. it's going to help, you know, help your blood flow better. Mm -hmm. There's a copper in a penny. Like you can't just suck on a a penny. It has to be in the right isoform, even in the liquid form so that it can penetrate and get into your blood system. So there are certain brands better than others. Yes. Wow. So can you make some recommendations about places to go? Not necessarily the products themselves, but you know, I would, where do you send your your customers? I have I have a website that I send people to that okay. I think excellent because okay. one of and I'll tell you what it is. One of my main things, and this may give people a chance to get a pen or something. One of my okay. main things is I really want people to be educated. Okay. Um, I have a a problem with the process. If I'm sitting in a doctor's office. They examine me and then they go to the next room and they look up in the PDR. What's go- what's wrong with me? And they find out something. And then they come back and give me this piece of paper with a prescription on it. And I go to the pharmacy. It's like I'm not in the process. Like, I don't know what okay. this is. I can't even read it, right, I, you right. know. And then and then they give me four pages of side effects. So it's a it's a problem. I want people to be informed and educated. I send them to a, a spot called um, 200diseases.com, 200diseases.com. You can go to that site and look up a challenge that you might be having, a symptom that you may be having, and find an organic response to it, you know, something that can be um, safe and something that your body will recognize. So your body doesn't recognize chemicals. It's like, who is that? You know, who, who's at the door? <laughs> you know, but when you have something natural, your body's like, hey, come on in. Let, you know, make yourself at home and do what you're supposed to do. Sure. So natural is is always the first choice. 200diseases.com mm-hmm. is a great, it's about 500 pages, but you can look at it by index okay. and whether it's headache or constipation or, you know, arthritis, you can look up different sure. things that you can do. And guess what? Some of them, some things are as close as your kitchen, wow. lemon juice, baking soda, um, you know, um, a- uh, apple cider vinegar. There are some things that you can do right from home. Oh, that's great. Well, I tell you what, Kim, when we get back from the break, let's talk a little bit about some of those home recipes and also some of the health challenges facing young people and kids because uh, you touched on some interesting things and we're getting some some chats coming in. So keep it locked. We'll be right back with Kim McDaniel. We'll be right back. Straight No Chaser Talk Radio. Other shows water down the issues. We only serve the hard stuff. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, I learned that I'm ugly and useless. And in gym, I learned that I'm pathetic and a joke. In history, I learned that I'm trapped. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one In biology, I learned that I'm fat and stupid. And in math, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today... The only thing I didn't learn today... The only thing I didn't learn... Is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. The path to happiness is not the easy one, but taking drugs will not make it easier. Many people got lost and end up losing their life to drugs. 
If you or anyone that you know is within that path, don't be afraid to seek for help. Visit www.adk.gov.my for information related to drug abuse. So, know your path. This message is brought to you by the National Anti-Drugs Agency. In our world, in our country, and in our cities, on our streets, in the alleys behind our homes, there are orphans, foster and homeless children, who are the victims of child abuse and neglect. Hello, I'm Malcolm McDowell. Now, 80% of these children will end up homeless, and 60% will end up in prison without our help. They're good kids with bad parents, or no parents at all. They feel helpless, unloved, and full of despair. Oftentimes thrust into a world where dangerous influences lurk to prey upon their innocence. Safety Harbor Kids has developed a solution to help these children. Safety Harbor Kids helped me get a job. Safety Harbor Kids let me know someone cares. Safety Harbor Kids helped me go to college. Help change a child's life forever by supporting safetyharborkids.org today. Hello, hello. Welcome back, folks. If you're welcome back to the show, Straight No Chaser. If you're just joining us, we are talking about nutrition. We've got Kimberly McDaniel, nutritionist extraordinaire, who has given us all a lesson, Uh, giving me a lesson, sure enough. Yes, sir. Because you know, coming near the end of the year, and I know some of you are out there trying to figure out if you're going to go ahead and make this New Year's resolution. And this year, you're just going to do it. You're going to you're going to eat right. You're going to live right. Some of you are creeping up on 50 and, you know, everybody starts getting reflective. I'm already mm-hmm. past that. So I'm not even thinking about that anymore. I'm on the other side of that, you know, but I'm still trying to get it right. So so, Chief, where did where'd we, where'd we leave off? What were we talking about when we just left? We talked about we had some accidents, some vegan accidents you had, Chief. Yes. We don't yes. want to go back into that again. No, no, because it was very painful. And uh, <laughs> and and in my group session, they're telling me that that I'll be OK. They said, hi, Mike. You, so, did, it the, you did it the wrong way. But we learned some, you know, some really good things about we were talking about uh, vitamins and supplements and and um, and things like that, because, you know, um, it's important. You know, I, I'm running into that with my mother. Uh, who's telling who just turned 85 uh, last week. She's she's doing well, but and she's always reading and telling me, well, you know, the reports say that some of these supplements aren't regulated and this, that and the other. And what do we do? And then she's yes. some uh, uh, more than, you know, a, a few times here lately, she was getting some kind of recalls from the pharmacy and, you know, changing this and changing that and the doctor changing that. So she's you know, on the one hand, you have them trying to do right, and then they're a little fearful of doing right. But, um, you know, as, as Kimberly McDaniel was telling us, it's best to educate yourself, you know, Absolutely. to the best of your ability. And she's doing, you know, my mother's doing a good job, but I want to make sure that she's, you know, she's on it. I don't want her to deny herself something that could be good for her. But at the same time, you don't want her to take something under the illusion that it's good for her and it's really not. Mm-hmm. I love I love that um, statement because here's the deal. Anyone who like kind of in this age bracket, I call us in the sandwich generation. So that means that, you know, we're taking care of our children and our parents in most cases. So that being said, it is incumbent upon us that we be healthy. Like, how are you going to take care of someone and you're not even taking care of yourself? Right. So. Mm-hmm. Put the mask on yourself and equally put it on your parent and your children. And one of the best ways is to lead by example. Right. So you're you're char- you know, you got the banner up and it's like, hey, let's go do this. Now you should do this. Right. Especially right. for kids, because, you know, I got kids. I have friends now and I'm like, how do you have an eight year old? Like, what, what what were you thinking? You know, but yet they do. So mm-hmm. it's like, OK, you know, you want to go wow. to these football games and you're 55, 60. OK, so you With really need some old. extra. Exactly. <laughs> Is that you? I'm sorry. That's all on my toes. 
It's all on my toes. I just like, what is she? Is she all this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess it's I just did. so inappropriate. Yeah, it's just, just, oh, it's just Jesus, went ahead Lord and just Jesus. stepped all on me. Just oh, all of Jesus. Oh, oh Lord. Jesus. Hush your face, Kimberly. Oh, I did not know. I did That's not all right. know. That's all right. That's all right. So we really, I'm going to give you some. I'm going to give you my link offline. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to take that link too, and I'm going to send you my checkbook. Oh my That's goodness! It. Yes, yes, yes. Because the energy matters. The energy <sighs> matters. You know. Wow. So we're looking at these seniors, and I was thinking about what are the commonalities for our seniors and our youth. Because there are some things that they both need. One of the big sure. things that they need, and I've seen this visiting people in hospital recently as well, oxygen. The oxygen, the lack oh. of oxygen, you know, that's one of the first, um, you know, measurements that they're looking at. Mm -hmm. How, you know, what's the oxygen? What's the percentage, you know? So when you think of oxygen, also think of just breathing and aerobic activity and exercise. Mm -hmm. And the fact, check this out. Most people aren't even breathing correctly. Like we're breathing using one fifth of our capacity. Oh <laughs> one I can't drink you know? water. I can't breathe right. I can't. What the I, hell? I, I'm out. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm only breathing through one okay. nostril. See, see, now I know. See, That's the see, problem. See, people just. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Some people just take it too far, Wendell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done with this. I'm telling you, when you breathe at your capacity, think of this: when you look at a baby lying down resting, you'll see the baby's stomach rise and mm -hmm. fall, rise and fall. That's the natural, full way to breathe. When you breathe that way, you're airing your system out. You're getting, you're cleansing your system versus breathing at this level at the height just not even like a singer has to breathe deeply that's how we should breathe at least a portion of the day breathing energizes us it refreshes us it makes us think clearer so instead of taking the sub you know the whatever energy drinks and that type of thing just breathing sometimes mm -hmm. also calms us down it's a it's like god gave us everything we need to succeed everything natural you know that we should try that. first and then try something else, you well, know. So I have a uh, I have a, a comment from one of our listeners, Gina, mm -hmm. in Atlanta, and she had a question about the soy discussion we had, and mm -hmm. her question was, "Doesn't soy mimic estrogen and cause problem with breast cancer in women, especially in menopausal women?" Can you address that? Not only does it, yes, the, the answer is yes, and and it also. Um, adds to the the uh, hormonal impact for men you know so yeah the estrogen we do we do not need men taking estrogen you know to put them out of balance so okay. um the thing about there are a few things soy is definitely something um gmos is another there are some mm -hmm. like hot topics and okay. they're literally gina are people 50 percent on the side of pro soy and 50 percent on the side of anti-soy I when when those type of conversations come up, my thing is if you want to just be, you know, err on the side of caution, you know, you would be limiting in your intake. I used to eat edamame beans all of the time because that was what was taught to me. Oh, soy is so much better. But once I learned what Gina learned, right, I was like, oh, yeah, we're not doing that. But I'm not in a whole. Oh, my gosh, I can never let it pass my lips. Right. So I may do it occasionally occasionally so and and mm -hmm. and you have to start looking at soy um I, i'm gonna lead into another thing but soy mm -hmm. is so it's it's there's so many products made from soy right there are certain the thing i wanted to partner with that is that there is a lot of high fructose corn syrup right. in a whole lot of food that you would not even presume but it's it's in the vat if you went to your shelf right now and looked up, you know, whether it's crackers or ketchup, you know, sure. HFCS is in there. And that is very unhealthy for our body. So we do have to stay alert. Um, but short answer, Gina, I would definitely limit that. Uh, if that's Again, I'm on the 50 percent that's not a pro soy person. So how does that get right back to that whole vegan discussion then? Since a lot of or, or some of that um, product is made with soy. Um, how does that 
factor into that. So for menopausal women, should they stay away from vegan stuff or, or what, which, what kind of assumptions should